we're back to the erasure of white characters. Uh, and it happens from white authors trying to virtue signal, like it always does. It's unbelievable that every character has to change uh, from white to black every single time. Usually it's a redhead, and this time it's not. I think they've already made redheads go extinct in terms of Hollywood characters. But we're bringing redheads back. I've got Overmind, a science fiction graphic novel launching May 24th. You can sign up to get notified on launch. We've already got 149 followers, and we're a couple weeks out. Appreciate that. You can see the beautiful character Ayla Rin on the right who uh, I will, if I ever get a deal for this for a movie, never allow this character to be race-swapped. You can count on me for that. Uh, the character is the character, and uh, it doesn't need to be done. But since this does need to be done in terms of uh, Percy Jackson, because we now have a new uh, Disney Plus show coming for his uh, Olympians sort of novels, and uh, Annabeth Chase, as, you, as depicted here, which is a depiction derived from the actual words in the actual book has now been cast as uh, this Leah Sava Jeffries right here. And they're going full last Jedi with this. Now I forgot to introduce myself in this video, but you can go to my other videos to get my spiel. <laughs> I got a little excited for the topic as usual, but um, we can, always count on them to do this sort of race swapping thing. And then what happens is this entire production is going to end up being about race, SJW stuff. They're going to forget the fun of the books to begin with because they're trying to push political agendas. And this is exactly what Disney Plus has done in every show, every movie so far. We just saw Doctor Strange, which was a purely political uh, movie, uh, which they tried to mask with a bunch of horror effects. And we're going to get the same thing out of Disney Plus on this. Now, they're using the same playbook that was used with uh, the Rose Tycho character from The Last Jedi, where they claimed it was anti-Asian hate going on with the character. No, actually, fans just thought the character uh, was pretty bad. And the character was pretty bad. Even Chinese audiences hated the character, which that's who it was supposed to pander to. They did a terrible job here. And when you make a casting decision like this, try to just push this character to be something she's not, fans of the book series are, are like, what is going on here? Now, of course, uh, you know, you can't allow fans to do that when you look like this. As you can see, Rick Reardon is uh, is, uh, is is terrible. Just by, you, you can tell just from his skin tone. That's how we do things these days. The skin tone has to be correct. And uh, he says, here we are. This is what he says. Let me be clear here. I am speaking only for myself. These thoughts are mine alone. They do not necessarily reflect or represent opinions of any part of Disney, the TV show, the production team, or the Jeffries family. Yes. And he says it's been overwhelming positively. And then uh, what he says here, of course, and he says there's a lot of enthusiasm about it, which there's not, of course. But here's where he goes. If you have a problem with this casting, however, take it up with me. You have no one else to blame. Whoever else you take from this post, it should be able to agree that bullying and harassing a child online is inexcusably wrong. Now, they always do this. Now, this is exactly what happened with the Rose Tico uh, character as well. They claimed that she was harassed, and there really wasn't. There was a bunch of criticism of the character, people saying this is not right, that the, you know, there's a crappy character. But they weren't bothering her. She couldn't take that criticism as a professional. That was a younger girl. So uh, it'd be rougher for her to take that kind of criticism. But it's also the studio's fault for putting her in this position by trying to make some sort of race war out of her, uh, which is what Hollywood tries to do uh, when she's just a young child. I mean, it's just a, a poor casting decision from that perspective. If they didn't want the criticism, if they didn't invite this kind of thing, uh, then they wouldn't have thrown the child out there as a shield, and this is exactly what they do. This is what Rick Reardon's doing right now also. It's, again, a bad sign for the show itself. They're showing that this is not going to be about the books and not actually about the good stories. It's going to be about just race, and that's Hollywood's par for the course right here. All right. They claim there's negative comments online and all that, but then they go further, and, of course, they say that, uh, you know, they're, they're working with Disney, and they're, they're trying to make this whole thing out of this, quote, bullying and calling fans racist as they continue with this. Whew. Man, it's really, really sad that these people do this. 
Here he goes. Some of you have apparently felt offended or exacerbated when your objections are called out online as racist. But I am not racist, you say. It is not racist to want an actor who is accurate to the book's description of the character. Let's examine that statement. And he goes on to claim that it's totally great. This is the way that it should be. White people should be replaced. If you're not, if you're not okay with that, you're somehow a racist. I no- I notice, and you know, this is an age old argument at this point. Nobody ever calls for like a Martin Luther King documentary starring Johnny Depp or whatever, right? This never happens. You never, never once see a race swap the other direction. But for some reason, it's totally great when it happens this time. And if you disagree, you're racist. But how come you can't disagree the opposite way and demand, uh, say, Black Panther be a white guy? And if you if you disagree with that, aren't you racist? Isn't that what you'd say? But uh, it doesn't work that way. It only works for the social justice and narrative every single time. And it's really obnoxious. So here you are. You are judging her for her appropriateness in this role slowly and exclusively how she looks. She is a black girl playing someone who is described in the books as white. Friends, this is racism. Oh, gosh. Why don't, why don't you just seppuku, you know, uh, for, for your racist cause, Rick Reardon? I mean, it'd be nice if you just give some black authors a chance by never publishing books again. Uh, and I think that'd be your duty as a white man to just step aside and uh, allow, uh, you know, a black guy to write your books from here on out. Just give him your name, you know, to do otherwise would be racist, don't you think? Gosh, I'm so sick of it. And I know you guys are sick of it, too. I mean, it's just brain damage even to look at this stuff at this point. It's par from the course from Hollywood. I'm not going to watch this. You're not going to watch this. And, you know, hopefully your friends won't watch it either. Hollywood needs to learn that they can't keep doing this and have us just like glue our butts to the seats as simps uh, and then open our wallets for them. We have to close our wallets every single time. They need to learn. (laughs) Whew. Gosh. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Hit that like and subscribe button and we'll be back soon.